Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Custom Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Barry, one of the four Queen's Muscle Cars from the Cars video game. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Barry is an orange and blue 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner who is one of the four muscle cars along with Vince a 1968 Ford Mustang, Lenny, a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, and Sonny, a 1971 Plymouth Cuda 446 pack, who originates from Queens, New York. He and he he also bears the number eight, which he shares with Dale and her Jr. and Carla Veloso. During his appearance in the Cars video game, in one level, the car, the Ornament Valley circuit, and he, along with Vince, Lenny, and Sonny, met with met Lightning McQueen, and and challenged him to a race to see who will beat the who would beat the best. Then in another level, he met he was seen again along with Vincent Sonny, and who was accompanied by none other than Chick Hicks, who and lightning and Chick and the other three muscle cars challenged Lightning to a race, and he was then, and they were then seen again in in the Ormond Valley Grand Prix, the third and final race of the Radiator Springs Grand Prix during the during the grudge match between Lightning and Chick. He also reappeared again in Mater National in. Cars made a national championship during during the radiator spring radiator cap circuit when yeah, and and was ra and raced against Brett not only Lightning McQueen but also Doc Hudson Fred and a British car named Philip. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Barry was also voiced by Rob Eisenberg. And now, without any further ado, oh, and I also want to mention that I made this Barry out of a normal faceless Hot Wheel by using paper, glue, scissors, and whiteouts and colored Sharpies. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here I've got his scowling facial expression, his headlights and grill, and orange exterior, and his and on the hood we've got the blue, blue rectangular stripe and his orange eyelids and blue and black eyes. And on both sides we've got the Gr chrome gray silver rims on the black wall tires and the blue pinstriping and the white number eight on the black circle and on the top no no tampos on the top and on the trunk we got the blue rectangular striping and on and on the back we've got the tail lights and the chrome silver bumper and underneath underneath it says hot wheels which is this like I said this car this Disney cars character is customized and it's uh, and underneath it says 70 Roadrunner of which Barry himself is a 1970 Roadrunner which was made by Plymouth the same maker that made Strip the King Weathers who is a 1970 Superbird 
And now let's pull up some of the other muscle cars. We've got the other Plymouth vehicles. We've got the 1970 Plymouth Superbirds, Strip the King Weathers, and Louie. One of my cars OCs. The Dodge Challengers, Rod Torque Redline, Stainer and Snot Rod. Mario Andretti, who is at 1967 Ford Fairlane. Brent Mustangberger, who is a 1964 Ford Mustang. And finally, Firebird, one of my car, another one of my car's OCs, who is a 1982 Pontiac Firebird. And the other racers that share his number, we've got Dale and her Jr. and Carla Veloso. And that is it. So, you're, I'm, lately I, so lately I've been wondering, ring, do some Cars fans are familiar, are still, are, are all the, are some Cars fans still familiar with the Cars video game series? Because I'm wondering if the Cars video game series itself is starting to become overlooked, forgotten, ignored, or ditched, or abandoned, or whatever. But hopefully it'll always be remembered for many years to come. But what do you guys think? Which Cars video game is your favorite? Do you still remember the Cars video game series? And which muscle car is your favorite? And which racer with the number 8 is your favorite also? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!